All right, today we're gonna learn how to paint a painting in a style I call Dazzling Drips. All right, the question of the day is, who is 10 hundred? All right, let's run through the colors. Primary yellow, burnt sienna, pearly red dark, quin orange, quin blue, ultramarine blue, turquoise, phthalo green, titanium white, Mars black. All right, today we're gonna do a painting in a style called Dazzling Drips. forest green we got a very light green coming in here which we had yellow with um phthalo green and then i got to <coughs> tone it back with a really sky blue very very light blue here in the green and obviously the dark green here we got a little splotch of green there i might cover that up i don't think it looks right so now we're going to add our warmer colors give this much more um complexity as we add those warm colors on top hopefully pretty subtle and then we'll add the greens back on top is we got that nice kind of brown it's a red it's kind of combining with the green to make a brown we got that orange and we got a little bit of the green kind of peeking through here we got a yellow and we did kind of a really light green white um, so it's kind of like unknown element in the middle and we got the orange to red up here we got a really nice drip pattern right now we're just going to finalize it with a really thin layers hopefully because we don't want to lose any of these drips it's really cool so we just want to make it a little bit more subtle <music> So as you might surmise, 10 hundred is kind of a graffiti name, obviously. Um, so the artist can kind of be anonymous, paint in public, and not be chased by the law, hopefully. <laughs> uh, but now he's more into murals, so I don't think he's doing illegal work anymore, but that's probably where he got his start. Um, originally, he was uh, one of the members of a group called Mad Rad about, I think, six years ago, I want to say. And then he decided to really focus in on his art versus just, you know, doing a band, doing art and everything. He's kind of focused in on his art. 
and he originally was from Michigan and moved around, you know, kind of exploring America. And then he decided to settle in Seattle with they got a really cool art scene there and it's, you know, low rents at the time probably, probably now not so much, but um, it's kind of interesting. I was just wondering what his thoughts were on the Chaz and the Chop in Seattle. But, you know, he just started to branch out from there. He did like a show in LA. He started doing murals in LA, mural in Seattle, I think, also in Brazil. And so he's got quite a bit of following. He's also done a really good YouTube channel, which is really impressive, I think. Um, he does really polished videos um, that are pretty well done. Even his old videos from like six years ago look pretty good. So that's saying quite a lot. If you put a lot of production value in your videos early on, it kind of makes a difference. I mean, it might be that he just deleted his old or bad videos. I don't know, but um, I know my old videos, they don't look so good. <laughs> they shot like an iPhone 4 or something and just barely, you know, terrible audio. But, you know, it depends where you start. You know, you start wherever you have. And, um, but yeah, anyway, he's a really good artist. His style's more kind of anime, um, kind of cartoon characters. He's also done a mural, I think, in Japan maybe even a show in Japan. So he's, you know, kind of evolving that whole world of anime, cartoon characters, and his own really cool style. And that's who 1000 is. All right, we just finished the paint. Let's take a closer look. So we get this really nice dark green at the top, kind of with that red peeking through so you don't know quite what the color is, along with that kind of the drip pattern with kind of the whiteness with, you know, kind of a translucent white yellow look. We go into a kind of a lighter greens in here. A little bit of that yellow working its way through, but not quite yet. In the middle, we have a little bit of the yellow peeking through that white layer. So we have some of the yellow and the white competing. And down below, we got a similar drip pattern with that yellow into green. I think the focus is going crazy. Yellow into green. And again, at the bottom, we got a really nice drip pattern. So yeah, overall, I think it's a pretty strong painting. I really like the light to dark uh, contrast. Um, the dark is a little bit darker this time, so I think we got a better contrast. Uh, we do have this long drip down the side, which I'm not sure I like. Um, maybe that creeped through why I wasn't uh, walking the dog or whatever. <laughs> I'm just like, ah, but it is what it is. Maybe I'll just wrap the painting further out and just exclude that part. Um, overall, I think it's pretty solid. Um, I do like, I, it's a really subtle drip pattern in this version. Um, I didn't want those out really crazy drips where it's just like boom drips in your face But I wanted it to kind of still be there without putting too much into the background Some of the other paintings are really you know, deep in the background. I didn't really want that I wanted to kind of them to kind of pull through here, and I think I've accomplished that Good light to dark balance a lot of good color the red could be blended more on this, you know left corner, but um, You know it is what it is uh, sometimes that doesn't work out as well as you'd want it to when you do the drips and it kind of pulls off the color But overall, I think it's a pretty cool painting. Um, I like how it turned out Hopefully you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up if you'd like to subscribe You can subscribe below and I'll see you in the next painting video. Thanks for watching guys